What's going on folks? I'm in West Texas with Nate right behind me here. Kyle's on the other side of this pond. And we're getting ready for a good old-fashioned dove hunt. It's real windy. We got this storm kind of coming in. So who knows how that's going to affect it. But hopefully we'll get some birds. Looking forward to it. Excited to be back. Can't wait to get one. Well, just got set up, got my chair here, got my mojo set up. Bird flew over Nate and he already got one, so I gotta catch up. Seems like every time we head out to West Texas, we get these crazy storms coming in. Well, looks like I'm not getting skunked. I got one dove in the bag. They're coming in slow. Hopefully more start coming in here soon before all this rain shows up. Right at you. Great shot. Still farming a little bit, that scared me. Nate just nailed another one. It was a good shot. He's up, headed your way. Nailed him. It feels so much later than it actually is just because of those big dark storm clouds. Yeah, hopefully shooting light doesn't end too soon. Well, got another one in the bag. Not a huge one, but it still counts. It was actually a really high shot and basically he dropped perfectly right on the first shot so pretty proud of that one we're trying to have a dove lunch tomorrow so every bird helps but we're having fun we're out in the country and just living the good life this is what it's all about what a bird coming right at me and I cowboyed that dove with the 20 gauge at about five yards fortunately Got him right in the head, so he went down instantly. Didn't feel a thing, but whew, it's always crazy when you shoot him that close. Look at that awesome purple sunset. Yeah, and then it's like reflecting light off this uh, cloud above us, making it lighter. Ah, uh, Kyle, I just missed one. He flew right over me. He may head your way. Another one over the middle of the pond. Uh, Nate, maybe coming your way. Well, my camera ran out of battery, so I wasn't able to get the end of the hunt, but it did pick up quite a bit. Uh, birds started kind of flying in low and fast at the end of the night, but I did get a photo of that awesome sunset, so that was cool. But picked up a little bit, so I think I ended up with eight birds. Nate got some birds, Kyle got some birds. It's a fun trip, so now we're just gonna kind of make a little bit of assembly line, take these things apart. That's gonna be our lunch tomorrow. Well, I think this is the most authentic way to eat Texas doves. We are out camping. Actually, before we get to the doves, here's your fish taco. Fish taco from a pond bass that Nate caught like, what, 30 minutes ago? Yeah. An hour ago? Yeah. <laughs> nice. So, oh, I spilled it, dang it. It's good though. So wait, good. you cooked it in bacon grease, 
and and, the, the and chili cheese burritos <laughs> from last night's chili. Benson but chili. It's very good, and we're just so we plan one meal on this camp out to just purely eat off of either what we kill on the land or what's on hand. So we've got the fish tacos, the bass tacos as our appetizer, and then for the main course we got Texas style doves. Got them all prepped right here. But we're gonna smoke them over mesquite that we just picked up off the ground. We didn't have any toothpicks, so we picked thorns off the mesquite. We wrapped them up in bacon. We killed these last night and this morning. We're about to throw them on the smoker that Nate's tending over here. They're gonna be good. It's gonna be a tasty twig. It's much fresher. You got a hot fire and fresh meat, it doesn't take but what, maybe two minutes on each side? If that. Yeah. Put the dove in the pot. Make the dove pass the pot. Let it set for a little bit. You want to dink it and then sink it? Watching too much Rhett and Lincoln. Yeah, right. Oh, hot. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Just make sure you get that mesquite thorn out of there. <laughs> you don't want to eat one of these guys. Ooh, that's tasty. Definitely smoky. Mm hmm. Taste the mesquite? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Big time. Woo! Got a little spice. And spicy. A little dove sandwich. Yeah, man. Sandwich. Well, I hope y'all found this fun. Uh, just another way to cook dove, another way to experiment with it. We just try to make the most of our trips out here, including eating the dove we shot the day before. So you can do it, you know, at home on a regular grill, or you can do it at the campground. But it's a lot of fun. Just feel free to experiment with how you cook wild game. It usually turns out pretty good. Until next time, stay safe, be free, and never stop seeking adventure. Now get in here before they're all gone. <laughs>